Alright, Krusty Crew, I've gathered you all here to talk about an important issue. Is this about what happened to the toilet in the bathroom? Look, Patrick tried to hold it in, but he had a lot of jalapeno sauce with his patty and you know- No, it's not about that and you. I'm talking about the fact that Plankton has attacked the Krusty Krab every day this week. First, it was blowing a hole through the front door on Monday, then it was smashing through the roof on Tuesday, and then, just yesterday, he smashes a hole through the floorboards! Oh! Yeah, you should really get that fixed. I can't, and that's the problem. Paying for all these incidents is severely damaging my bank account. Which is why I've decided to go on the offensive. What? It's going to be you and Spongebob's job to find me a task force of strong individuals who can take down Plankton. Well, I refuse. Well, then I guess I'll have to go with Plan B. Cutting the both of your two's pay in half. On oh, second thought, come on Spongebob, let's go build that task force. Yay! Okay, it says here your name is Mr. Shark? Actually, it's pronounced Shook. Oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, it says here you have experience in close quarters combat and once bit the head off of an enemy assailant. Correct. You're in! Okay, Patrick, why should we let you in our task force? Uh, I don't know what's happening. I just came here for a Krabby Patty. Is this a test? What kind of test is this? I like your spirit, soldier. You're in! It was the end of the battle. I have the cold body of my wife in one end, and my father's lifeless corpse in the other. The monster came for me next, but I wasn't going down easily. I grabbed a knife and dodged its attack. Then, I stabbed it in the eye and straight into the brain, killing it for good. Uh, yeah, sorry. I don't think you're what we're looking for. Oh, can I at least get my parking validated? No, next! No need, Spongebob. I have your third member right here. Attention! Wait, I know that voice. Me too. Oh no, Sergeant Sliver from episode 66? That's right! He's not gonna make us do push-ups again, is he? Don't be ridiculous. I'm not your two sergeant anymore. However, that doesn't mean I won't snap you in two like a twig if you get in my way. Oh good. I think. Alright group, it's your job to stand here and wait for Plankton to attack. Once he dies, you will take him down. For good? No, just teach him a lesson. Okay, but I don't know a lot of things to teach. No, just just make sure he doesn't destroy the place. Right! right. Uh, what is Krabs up to? My sources tell me that Eugene has put together an unstoppable task force to take you down. What? How could Krabs stoop to that level? And by that level, I mean my level. There's only one way to deal with this. Fight fire with fire. <laughs> Alright, I've brought you all here because you're the best of the best. Your job is to protect the chum bucket at all costs. Um, who are you? Oh, I'm the banana man. Oh, well are you tough? Well, I am pretty slippery, if you know what I mean. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. What are we getting paid? We will all get paid in free chum. Fine. You each get five dollars an hour and a packet of steel crackers. Yay! Do 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 do. Oh, Mr. Krabs, you're gonna want to see this. What is it? Huh? Plankton has his own test force. What do we do now? Looks like we're gonna need something a little extra. What are they up to now? Huh? Is that a tank? <laughs> Beat that, Plankton. <laughs> well, I shall, Eugene. Uh, he's out doing everything we throw at him. SpongeBob, we need more to combat him. I don't know about that, Mr. Krabs. Spongebob, let me relay some information on you that was given to me by a wise old man. The only way to solve violence is with even more violence. Hey, <laughs> I got that right. Now get me a phone. I have some ordering to do. Uh, Karen, get me a phone. I have ordering to do.
Mr. Krabs, don't you think you and Plankton are going a little far? Too far. Hmm. What the, um, uh, excuse me, I need to get through to get a Krabby Patty. He's attacking! Get him! Wait, no! <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, screw this. I'm going to the chum bucket. He's attacking. Get him. Wait, no. <laughs> Eugene Krabs. Um, yes. Here's your death button. Excellent. <laughs> Remember, I was never here. Ooh. Wait, what is that exactly? This is Satellite 1, we have a lock on the chum bucket and are prepared to take action when button is pressed. Hey, don't worry about it, boy. Ah, uh, crabs. Sheldon Plankton? Yeah? Your death button. Excellent. <laughs> this is Satellite 2, we have a lock on the crusty crab and we're prepared to take action when button is pressed. Remember, I was never here- Jonathan, have you been selling death buttons again? Oh, dang it, my mom found me. <laughs> <laughs> Once Plankton makes a move, I'll counter and destroy everything he owns. Once Crab attacks, I'll surprise him and destroy everything he owns. It'll, It'll happen, happen any, any second. second. So Plankton, don't you want to attack me? No, what about you? <laughs> no. Any minute. Any minute. Would you just attack me already? No, you attack! Fine, I will. Once I order more things. That's not happening, Krabs. Your card's been declined. What? Who are you? I'm from the bank and you're out of money. Take everything, boys! Ha ha ha! Sucks to suck, Eugene. Not so fast, Mr. Plankton. You're broke as well. Take all of his stuff as well! Wait, no, guys, I'm not property. I'm the banana man. I'm the banana man. What was I thinking? The whole reason I started this was to save money. Now I'm completely broke. Yeah, we should have just stayed at our usual battling budget. Well, I'm out of here. Right, we don't need test forces, machines, or fancy death buttons. Yeah. Speaking of death buttons, where's yours? Oh, I left it over there. Oh no. Acquiring target and fire. Mini restaurant! Acquiring target and fire! My restaurant! Now we're really done for. Not quite. I'm from the insurance company, and I'm happy to tell you, Eugene, that the Krusty Krab is completely covered by your laser insurance. Yes, I knew paying for the cheapest insurance would pay off one day. Yes, surprisingly, nobody has laser insurance nowadays. What about me? Am I covered? Sorry, Mr. Plankton, but you only have boulder insurance, not laser insurance. Now, Eugene, come with me and we can count your insurance money. Yay! Curse you, Krabs! What lesson was there even to learn from all of this? If Mr. Krabs tells you to make a task force, just take the paint cut. Oh.